Welcome to Luke's Daily Movie Reviews Season 2, Episode 50. Uh, for the past few reviews, I've been catching up on my required scary movies, which I do. I want to do five per month, and I haven't done any. It's this, this, I just came up with that, so we're in the third month of the year, and so I had 15 to catch up on, because I do five per month, and I'm well into it now. This, I wanted this one, episode 50 of this season, to be a special one, This because this is one of my favorite I'm not a big scary movie person, but this one I tend to like a lot. I don't like, I don't, I don't watch them. I'll, I'm gonna review them, but I don't tend to like the gory ones. I tend to like the dark rooms, like like ghosts and. You know, you know, jump scare ones. You know, not just not gore and stuff like that. Like, or like creature movies like Jaws or Anaconda or Cocaine Bear. Uh, this one is Insidious from 2010. It's an hour and 42 minutes. When and when the Lamberts root their family and move to a new home, their son mysteriously falls into a coma and a series of sinister events begin to unfold. The movie stars Patrick Wilson, Rose Byrne, Lynn Shea, and Ty Simpkins as the, their son and a few other actors and directed by James Wan. Uh, this movie is good, it's scary got a few jump scares in it but after just seeing it a few things a few times knowing it's coming you tend to laugh at you tend to laugh or grin at things more than being jump scared by them uh, but what makes this movie immediately effective is the first minute and the music or the in, let's not call it music the unsettling noise that you hear in the first minute and when before the titles pop up on the screen and this hideous looking figure holding that's my cat holding a candle and then uh, so, this movie is a good one. This is definitely a once a year watch for me, even with an ending like it has. I don't like to tend to like grim or ambiguous endings. I mean, if you're watching horror, that's pretty much a given, but in where this movie ends is, is since there's a chapter two and I've seen what happens in the first few minutes of chapter two even though I didn't watch the whole movie it serves I'm looking over my shoulder it serves as it would have been served great as a as a like what the hell moment and it would have just been great to end the movie and just never make a sequel and just be like okay You don't, it doesn't really need a follow-up. It, it could be a great, like, wow, people will talk about this movie and be like, what's going to happen next? Or does anything happen next? Well, you know. But the basic idea of the movie is that their son is in a coma, but there's nothing wrong with him. 
and Lin Shay's character, Elise Rainier, explains that his astrophysical, his spiritual body has left his physical body and it's trapped, he's trapped in a place called the Further, where uh, well, it's a place of the dead and a place where they try to get back into living again by sort of possessing the bodies of the living or, or something like that and so there's a particular a few particular ones who are trying to take the, their son's body and some as Lelise says some people just want to live again and there's others that are not quite human possibly demonic who have a more insidious agenda and just want to get back into the world and cause pain and suffering. Speaking of pain, that hurt a little bit. I, I, my wrist, I moved my hand a bit. Uh, and so, we learn that Patrick Wilson's character, the father, has had experiences as a childhood with the similar things, and his memory was of it was erased, sort of, to so he could move on, and and he doesn't remember it, but. It's, in the back of his mind, he's always never liked his picture taken because always with the pictures, the images of the old woman would show up in the picture, always getting closer, like she was trying to get at him, into him, you know, and possess him. And, you know, I don't know. I really don't. So that's why he's never liked his picture taken. Uh, but anyway, eventually he, you know, there's something called astral projection. And I've heard stories, and I believe this might be true, of people can, in their sleep, or I mean, even when they're away, I don't know, can leave their physical body and travel not physically, but travel to other places like like tra like travel and like see what one one of their family members without actually being there or something like that. And their son Ty Simpkins' character is is really good at this, and he's done it too much, and he's got himself lost in the further. And his father goes into the further to get him back and he succeeds but in the process he, his father ends up finally getting possessed by the spirit of the old woman holding the candle that's been you know haunting him for all his life and without him knowing it or maybe he was able to get rid of it her but entering the further again brought her back and this time as you can see at the end of the movie it looks as it appears that she finally was able to possess him even though he got his son but back out of the coma and his son's all good but now he's maybe not so good and we see Elise Rainier take his picture at the end and she has a look of shock on her face and then he strangles her Oh, and then his wife walks into the room, picks up the camera, and gasps, gasps at what she sees in the camera, and then you see a flashback, quick flashbacks of Elise taking the picture, 
and seeing, instead of seeing the dad in the picture, you see the old woman, which means she's possessed him or something. And then the next you see, it was like something, he's like, Renee, I'm right here. And he puts his arm on her shoulder or she, I, you could say, because now he's been possessed by the spirit of the old woman. And the next thing you know, she turns and gasps and the movie ends and the, the title pops up, Insidious. And I'm like, that's talking about talking about the kind of ending of horror movies where it's like you think all was good and at the last second you're like wow and the movie's over um oh uh. uh. what am I doing I must be tired um, so, like I said, this could be a classic cliffhanger horror ending, and you don't necessarily need a resolution, and the effect that has is people will talk about it, and talk about it, and talk about it, but this, as it is, is only just the first of many chapters of movies, and I've seen the second one, and the second one actually picks up right where the first one left off, and with him talking to his wife and after after the credits rolled at the last end of the last movie in chapter two he's talking to his wife and he seems to be completely normal have no idea what just happened no idea that he got what the picture like flash in his face and possibly because the spirit of the old woman doesn't have complete control so he back to normal and he doesn't have any idea what just happened. I don't know. Uh, I, I haven't, I only watched the first few minutes of chapter two. Uh, so I would have to watch the whole movie to figure out what happened. And there's actually chapter, chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, chapter four, and chapter five, Insidious, The Red Door, which was just recently released. And might be the final one uh yeah uh i like this movie it's a good movie it, i'm not usually a few huge fan of horror but especially the gory ones i don't really care for those usually like they don't really work for me like this this one was like more like supernatural like just haunted house or just jump scares or just that's the kind of stuff I can get into more uh, this one hits all the right things for me to be a if you want to go on a scary movie binge this one would probably be on the near the top of my list for things you might want to watch during Halloween or October or something or whenever it, the movie was released, what day of the month, you know. Just a once a year watch, maybe a... Marathon of the Insidious movies. But I can't speak for the other ones, I haven't watched them. But this one... Uh... This one is a, a good one there were a few things in the movie that I didn't didn't quite work for me or a few things that I didn't understand that I may have to go look and watch again to see if I missed something because I know they have a son and I know they have a baby but I swear there was another kid they had another son 
or I'm just crazy. And maybe that's what they, how they want you to feel. They don't want you to understand what you just watched. They want you to make think like, wait a minute, I thought they only had one son. Does Ty Simpkins have a brother that's not the baby? I don't. Because there were a few moments where I swear it was something, something up. This is really annoying, this controller. Uh, uh, basically, I'm just looking for a particular... I don't know what's going on with this controller. No, with the video. I it, keep trying to rewind to a particular spot, and it keeps jumping back to the place I was at. He's in a coma. Okay. There was this, this scene where there was a kid who was asking for if he could switch rooms and said, said something like, I don't like it when he walks around at night. Who? And who's this kid telling his mom that? I swear they only had one kid plus the baby. Not to be perfect, to be accurate, an adult kid or a young adult kid, one more young adult kid instead of in, in a, uh, just an infant. I swear there were two young adults or just, you know, out of toddler, you know, age or infant age. And, but then in other parts of the movie, like you don't see this other kid very much and I'm like did they forget they had another kid or was there something else to that um, they, they want to make you think uh, here's the scene
Uh, basically, the one thing I could think is that it was a flashback scene of of Patrick Wilson's character, and I just didn't notice. But I'm not sure because I think this is the same mom in the from. I don't know. I would have to look at it again to be sure. Uh, I don't know. Uh, because I swear for most of the movie, you know, you don't see this other kid in the movie. And I'm like, did I imagine him? I know I didn't. Was it a flashback? I don't know. <laughs> but it certainly seems that they're all concerned about bringing their son back, you know, from the coma. And not not too concerned about this other kid who I saw in one scene that I know of and just it was just a thing I that you don't notice that that you sort of notice that you're like there was something wrong there, you know. I would have to go over and watch the movie close again just to see if they had three kids or not. Because it was it was occasions where I'm like you should they they the other kid should be asking if his brother is all right or like no I don't know I really don't um I this movie definitely needs another watch and you gotta really pay attention. Because there's some things that just don't seem right or just seem like they need to be paid more attention to or, you know. But definitely once a year watch. Uh, that'll conclude this movie review. Oh, except for there was a few things. One of the spirits who wanted to possess the boy's body was Darth Maul. <laughs> Uh, all red make red face red makeup and everything he was Darth Maul and he made weird noises weird cracking noises like opening his mouth and closing it like <coughs> or or moving his long hands like <coughs> anyway I hope you enjoyed this movie review episode 50 of season 2 uh in 10 videos it'll be sort of my 100th movie review ever counting season 1 uh in 10 videos 60 that'll be 100 i did the two Lord, three lords of the rings movies as a big stream so i'll consider that one review so in 60 videos, it'll be in 10 videos up from now. Season 2, episode 60 will be my 100th review. So, yeah, we're getting close to that 100th review overall. So, excited about that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this movie review. I hope you and Enjoyed my movie review of Insidious from 2010, PG-13, starring Patrick Wilson, Rose Byrne, Lynn Shea, and Ty Simpkins, and directed by James Wan. I hope you enjoyed the review. Check it out yourself if you want to. Hope you enjoyed the review. See you next time.